what was my favorite character to write for it? This is kind of actually a hard one because at first I think it was Bill because um, Eric knows my family as well. And so um, we would call Bill Uncle Joe, uh, which actually means my dad and Uncle Joe because of how they talked. And we based a lot of the stuff on my dad. Um, so a lot of like the go pound salt and those kind of things, right? And so I really, I really like that part of it because it made me made me laugh. Um, but then Ellis came along, and uh, Ellis's middle initials D, by the way, uh, he's named after a friend, and he's a friend who is a better person than I am because no matter what, he's always going to smile and be positive and kind of have that goofy Ellisness. And I really like writing for that. That's a lot of fun. But then, I don't know, uh, I hate things. And, you know, that was fun to write for. <sighs> yeah, like, it gets really hard because it's almost at that moment. Like, so for the Anacrusis, like, Lance is so much fun for me to write because he's a, he's a bit of a, he's a bit Nick. But Nick was, Nick was so the actor too. Like, we were just writing to the actor that we kind of limited it to that because, like, he, Nick, Nick the actor could not, you, you, Dylan, great actor, could not laugh. He could not ad lib. So all of his, <laughs> that's the actor. Because we'd be like, hey, just, just, just ad lib some, some laughter. And he'd be like, hey, that what you want? One time I tried to get him to do Beavis and Butthead laugh. Because I thought that would be funny. And he's finally like, just shut up. Just, just, just do the laugh the way you want. Just do it. Do it. And I'll do it. <laughs> he didn't do it. Uh, I thought, thought he's going to beat my ass. He's, he's a tough dude. I like him though a lot. So I'm not knocking him. But different actors act in different ways. Where Nick for the Anacrusis was I had to cut so much stuff out because he would record so much stuff and then he would ad lib and I would just start cracking up in the booth. Uh, he was a ton of fun. Uh, but you know, also then the TF2 characters were fun because they're so outrageously over the top. Me and Eric got in a really big argument one day about how wacky and crazy we should make the characters and how grounded they should be. And at first they were way more grounded. And I remember it because I wrote the line, um, the soldier, uh, we're surrounded on all three sides. And I'm like, that's how stupid he is. And Eric just started laughing and he's like, okay, okay. Like, and then I, he, he took it way better. He, he, again, I, someone once posted in my comments that Eric's funnier than I am. I say Eric's funnier than I am, not you. Um, but like, so that was a lot of fun to do. Um, so those, those are really fun characters. All of those characters to me. I mean, GLaDOS is in her own way, but that's such Eric's voice and me trying to stay inside of what he had created there and not and not overstepping that um, was more on my mind for a lot of that stuff. Um, so, yeah. And then the CSGO characters were fun because I did all that. And I feel like I have no idea how much stuff recorded for that. That was crazy. Um, and I really liked the British, the SAS. That one was the one that kind of came off the best because we, we were just flying through that stuff. Um, and Alex was fun to write for as well, but Alex was so much Marks and I man. Like my favorite stuff of all the things that have been around was I think Marks' writing of Breen's Half Life Two as you're coming in, and Breen's like, you know, what have you ever done? What have you ever built? A lot of other games. I don't know this, but a lot of other games have really aped that that speech because that is just so iconic and so great. Um, and so you know that was one of the things of just working at Valve during that time was like, man, Jay Pinkerton could crack me up to no end with his stuff. Like he did the Ellis stories of just, oh my God, they're so good. But he would, there's ones you cannot, I will not even repeat here. Oh, that is so good. But like, so like whatever Valve's coming with next and who's ever there now writing, um, because remember, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to say, like, yeah, so it's hard to say, but man, if you held a gun to my head, it's probably going to be Lance because he's the latest and the fresh. So I really like Liu too, because Liu, Liu has this energy to her where uh, she just she just is going to say the like she just doesn't care. She is she has no threat, no no worry in her life, and so she is just boundless experimentation, energy, and problems. I really like that as well. And that actress was really fun because that's sometimes you get an actress like that, that you can just write like, hello, and they'll say it and they bust you up laughing. And that's Liu. Like, oh my God, so good. But man, Coach, Coach is up there too because Coach could do that. Coach just brought that. Mm, man, such a, he's such a good actor. Oh my God, he's so good. So I think I'm just naming all the actors I've worked with now, aren't I? Or the all the characters. 
I've been lucky. I've been really lucky. I've gotten to work on some really fun, good characters with some really great acting with a bunch of other really great writers that made it all really good. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, go to the end of Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and just keep hitting Barney. And eventually he just gives you this look. Oh, oh, oh. That always cracks me up. I just found that animation and one of the things and I hooked up the VCD for that. Oh, that was good. That was good too. So sometimes it's not even just the words.